Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. There are four gears connected in a chain. Their numbers of teeth are 24, 12, 32, and 10, respectively. The rotation of one gear can drive the other gears to rotate together. Now it is the question, when the first gear makes five revolutions, how many revolutions does the fourth gear make? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. The key to solving this question is to know that, within any given lapse of time, each gear turns for the same number of teeth. But this does not mean they make the same number of revolutions. If the concept of fractions is already known, we can make such a statement more mathematical. For instance, if all gears turn one tooth. For the first gear, it's 1 24th of a revolution. For the second gear it's 1 12th of a revolution. For the third gear it's 1 32nd. And for the fourth gear it's 1 10th. Then the problem becomes very clear and easy to solve. If we haven't learned about the concept of fractions, it doesn't matter, we can understand it by discussing the case where the gear turns more teeth. For example, let's look at the first two gears first. Their numbers of teeth are 24 and 12. So let's talk about the case where they both turn 24 times 12 teeth. In this case, the first gear makes 12 revolutions, and the second gear makes 24. It is not difficult to find that, within the same period, the number of revolutions the two gears make and the number of their own teeth are in a cross-corresponding relationship. Mathematically, this relationship is called inverse proportionality. For the second and third gears, when the second gear makes 32 revolutions, the third gear makes 12. For the last two, when the third makes 10 revolutions, the fourth gear makes 32. In principle, by using such a transfer relationship, we can calculate the number of revolutions made by each subsequent gear one by one, as long as we know how many revolutions the first gear has made. However, this is not a very efficient method for this question. Because, this question doesn't ask how many revolutions the second and third gears make, rather, directly asks about fourth one. Going back to our aforementioned statement. Within any given lapse of time, each gear turns for the same number of teeth. That is to say, no matter how many revolutions made by the gears in between. When the first gear rotates one tooth, and the transmission arrives at the last one, it must also rotate one tooth. So we can completely ignore those gears in between, and directly discuss the case where the first and fourth gears are connected directly. And their answer should be the same. In this case, when the first gear makes 10 revolutions, the fourth gear should make 24. So, when the first gear makes 5 revolutions, the fourth gear should make 12. Why not rotate them and make a check? Ready? Go! Twelve revolutions. Indeed. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.